So one of the things we do is we try to be, we're fair weather sailors, we try to be out in the Gulf uh, on clear sky days, and you can see by that satellite image of one of our trips that indeed we were. Um, and the big story here is that, and this is primary productivity here, and this is calcification. So this is all the phytoplankton, this is one group of phytoplankton, this is a logarithmic scale, and here is 2014. This is, each of those dots is a gulf-wide average. There are as many as uh, 60 to 100 samples in each of those means, and we are yet again at probably the lowest, almost the lowest productivity uh, that we've ever measured, only surpassed by 2010. It's about a factor of five less calcification by these uh, coccolithophores here. This is uh, four orders of magnitude less than it's been, uh, and we're actually unmeasurable in some of these years. So it's a big change. The other thing that gets me up in the morning is a project uh, where we've been working in the Southern Ocean, and this is down in this area I call the Great Calcite Belt. This is a climatology. Of, uh, of particular inorganic carbon, calcium carbonate, uh, observed over the Southern Ocean and observed over 12 years of satellite imagery. If you home in on an area here, you see, and these are highly consistent regions that are light and dark, coccolith rich areas, dark areas here, which are coccolith poor areas. We're trying to understand uh, why these grow, where they grow, and when they grow. And so things that we look at, for example, these are streamlines of flow, 30 seconds, streamlines of flow. We know that um, water flow makes a difference. And here, even if we look at the entire globe, we can see that the mean current velocity and the amount of this material in the water is actually quite highly correlated over the entire globe. That's it.